Hello weirdos, welcome back to my channel and today I am going to be filming a video that's a little bit of a bookshelf tour but it's a little bit different than the one that I did previously last year in 2019 because this isn't going to go through all of the books on my shelf but that will be a series that I will be talking about a little bit later in this video. So the purposes of this video is just kind of to show the setup that I have right now in my more permanent collection of my library. This has about 200-ish books in it because a third of my library is at my apartment in Cincinnati and will hopefully one day be over here soon because I will lose apartment soon. So this is not the permanent setup of these books but these are just from the books that I have right now the way they are going to be set up for the time being. So I'm going to start off with this bookshelf behind me which is my newest bookshelf and then I will go show you the other two bookshelves that I have in a bit. All right so this is the top shelf of this bookshelf. This is a five shelf bookshelf and so this is my Lincoln Civil War bookshelf. So if we have all of my Lincoln books and then we have the Keen Uncle's Tom's Cabin. With this bookshelf this is a non-fiction bookshelf though, so there are no fiction books except with the exception of one shelf but for the most part this is non-fiction and so we have all Lincoln books and then some Civil War stuff which more will be added to this later with slavery and then also Civil War stuff on here too and more will be added to this shelf uh, but those books are not currently here in Chicago. So they're in Cincinnati. And so the other like fun things I have on my shelf is Scarlet from Gone with the Wind. And this is an ornament but that my grandpa gave me but I really liked it and she's in her iconic drapes gown. But I like it better as like a knickknack thing on my shelf. And then on the other side it's just a mug that I painted to be gay because I cannot draw things. Yeah, and that is this shelf. I'm not really going to be talking about the stuff above my bookshelves, but there's stuff up there. It's just a lot of stuff and that's not really organized. These are not all of the books I have on Lincoln or that my household has on Lincoln. These are the books that have specifically been gifted to me and that I own in particular. Yeah, it warrants its own shelf. Can you tell this is my favorite subject to study or at least has been historically. So this is the next shelf down and this is the most bare shelf. It, it basically is this whole section here is not full and that's okay because I have a lot of books to bring back but a cool thing about this shelf or this bookshelf in general is that the shelves are really deep so I've decided to utilize a deep shelf space and kind of make a 3D. Over here I am just kind of keeping like visitor guides from different museums I've visited and various other programs, muse information thing, packets, magazines. So not a lot of stuff on here yet and various other reference materials on this side. And I'm not really sure what I want to put on this level of the shelf. I'll have to see so when all of my books get back here and give you like an update. And then I just kind of keep some other like Lincoln stuff. So this is just a $5 bill. And then this is a quote unquote copy of his last check that I got in like middle school. And this is, I think it's supposed to be a bath bomb, but I'm not really sure. And I'm just kind of keeping it here. It's something I received from the holidays. And I really like these bookends. I plan to keep them out and showing because you can see them where the other bookends you can't really see and they're pretty. So I want to keep them out. So it's kind of a music one. And then it's Hermione Granger. And then over here we have more like travel books. So specific books that I've gotten while traveling. So here I've got some books from from Spain. So this is from Sevilla and Madrid and these are palaces and then this is like a Cincinnati book and various other like places from like battlefields or historic parks and then lastly a book that I made myself which I really want to show you guys. This next shelf is a fun shelf. This is lots of biographies and history things. So we have the general bi biography section and general history up till here and then we have our short little RBG section and then we have more memoirs here and then lastly some various other biographies here on the end slash my like Egypt studies stuff and the only other like fun trinket thing I have on the shelf is this little guy. It's a Buddhist statue 
I should know what this means down here and I don't. It was given to me by one of my students and I really like it and I really value it so that's why I keep it on my shelf. I want to try and put it on my china shelf once I have like a full china shelf but I don't yet so it's just gonna stay here and you might see them in some of my other videos. On this side of the bookshelf I've decided to keep a more how-to stuff so there's a chess book here like how to play some games and then I have some coloring books and then my like how to sew and then two cookbooks here and that's really it for this part of the deep end of the bookshelf. I don't really have anything on that third side and um, that's just kind of gonna stay empty until I figure out what I want to go behind there. This shelf is kind of the most fun shelf to put together because I think I got a little bit creative with at least how I put it together. So I put a bunch of series that I really like and some movies. I tried to keep like the box sets kind of together. Some of them as you can tell aren't open and then I have this BHS of Star Trek 4 that I wanted to put there. And then I put all of my books that involve like media of some sort. All of the books on like TV shows that I like are gonna go here eventually. I don't have all of them yet so this is a little portion that I do have right now. And then this part is kind of fun because this is just a notebook. Again that one of my students gave me from China and it was just so beautiful I didn't want to hide it away. And then here in this thing I keep all of my audiobooks. These are just the audiobooks I have so this is like my War and Peace audiobook and I there's a bunch of other space back here that will come for other audiobooks later when I get more. If you look back there you can see this stack of notebooks and the ones towards the bottom have not been used at all and the ones towards the top have been partially used and so once I go through notebooks I can go just go and reach back there and grab one that I haven't used yet or have only partially used. This last thing here is just a canvas painting of the pride flag because I can't paint anything so whenever I'm asked to paint things I paint uh, pride flags because those are really the only ones I know how to paint. And this portion of the 3D bookshelf just has other movies that I have just stacked up right here and these are notebooks that are important for some reason. Some of them are journals that I pass between me and another person. Some of them have stories that I've written and I just wanted to have here to have more access easily. And again with this shelf the other side is relatively empty because this is so long and deep. This is the bottom shelf to the first bookshelf that I wanted to show you. This I have affectionately termed my school bookshelf. So this is all textbooks that I've had to get for classes which I will be showcasing at some point. So some of these textbooks have actual bindings like this one whereas these don't. Yes professors will make you pay for textbooks that are just loose leaf which is amazing and then on this side if you can kind of see back there those uh, white things those are all where I store my flashcards. All the flashcards that I've made from high school up to this point are stored in these like nice black boxes and then back there that white bag is letters and correspondence that I would want to keep that I don't want to show you because again private information. And then on this side this is another black box and again it has more note cards. That is it for this shelf and again I kind of wanted to leave room because I know I'm gonna have to be t getting more note cards and more textbooks in the future. This is my second bookshelf and my second non-fiction bookshelf. So here at the top shelf we have this first part, my Native American books that ends here at Black Elk Speaks, and then we have my anthropology books which goes right from Guns, Germs, and Steels to Before the Dawn, and then lastly in this corner on this shelf we have my China books. These aren't all of them, but these are just the ones that I have here right now. This is a magnet and it depicts a a character from the Beijing Opera and I haven't actually gotten to see the Beijing Opera yet. I hope to one day but this uh, this I got from a diplomat who was visiting and as like kind of a thank you for participating in what we were doing which was really cool. The box has lots of really good information on it so I don't want to take it out of the box and I think it's so pretty that I just wanted to keep it nice and displayed on my shelves. Here is the second shelf and here it has most of my science books and then we go into my World War II book and then I have my women's studies books and then we get to like these three books which are just kind of a hot mess and they are just kind of all or these four books they're a hot mess because I don't really know how to categorize them or they do have a category but 
there's only like one book in each category so they're just kind of all sitting there together on the shelf and then lastly we have on the shelf my coding books my computer science books which were not textbooks and the only other thing I have here is this little car part which I got in Nagoya when I was at the Toyota Museum uh, I was in Nagoya Japan and they kind of give these out for free which is really cool here is the last shelf over here we have all of my theater books so these are books that I got from shows or about shows like these three and then we move on to like the art section so these are all books about art or specific museum collections or other I guess this could technically be considered art this is from the archaeology museum in Spain I have my religious section right here so these are just books on religion religious textbooks this isn't a book but it's still here anyway as it's always been with my religious stuff because it if I show it to you you guys will understand why it's there and then this thing doesn't really have anything in the top I put all cards that I get from places I've been. So we have Madrid, we have this is Beijing, um, we also have Chongqing here, and then this is from DC, and that's just from the Chicago Shakespeare Theater. It's not all of the cards, but it's most of them, and I just want to keep this here. Plus, this acts as a nice bookend to help keep all the books on the shelf. Uh, and that's it for this shelf. Here is the third and last shelf that I have in my permanent library. And this is my fiction shelf, so all the books on here are fiction. This first shelf up here kind of holds books that are more for middle grade slash are nostalgic. So the first one we have here is like Standing for Socks, which is just a book that I got rather recently. I just decided to put it here because it goes with all the, the middle grade stuff. And then here is my Shannon Hale and Gail Carson Levine collection. And then here is all of the books that are from the the series of unfortunate events as you can see I do not have all of them I'm working on it it's going in a direction slowly we're getting there and then we come to the American Girl dolls I really liked American Girl dolls as you can see we had all of them and I just got Felicity back I'm so happy my mom left it out to someone and I finally got it back recently and I'm so happy because now my collection is complete I have the collections which I prefer over these which are just like six independent books. I like the story collections. It's all in one. I like those a lot better. But I also have at least Kit's Mystery Ones and then Kit's One Ray Journey and then Welcome to Addie's World. They're all American Girl Doll books in this section. But yeah, this is quite nostalgic for me. And then we have The Shelf, which is a combination of fantasy slash series I really liked and historical fiction. So over here we have The Inheritance Cycle. We have all of them plus an extra eldest which is in Spanish because I want to get all of The Inheritance Cycle in Spanish one day. So we have Eldest which is my favorite book of the series. Here we have the Bartimaeus trilogies and I'd like to get these all in hardback but I don't have them at the moment. Here we have my small little collection of Little House on the Prairie and then it comes to all of this historical fiction which ranges. Uh, it have some comic books in here and then just lots of like Civil War stuff and all sorts of cool stuff here. And then this last book is not really historical fiction. It's just a long book so it would only fit on this shelf and that is picture book for kids about a friendship in English and Spanish and that's a fun one. And then also this little thing I also have here is a gift card for Barnes & Noble but it's empty but my mom thought I'd like it because it has Sephira on it which I do so I keep it with my inheritance cycle stuff. This is the last shelf in my fiction bookshelf. It's some Archie comics and then I have a manga and then the rest of this section from the manga back is just sort of general fiction that I have. An entire series I do have and very beaten up copy. Then the rest of this shelf is all classics. So that ranges from like a great like collection of like American specific classics to classics for younger kids. And then I have two copies of The Jungle because one of them is a comic book and the other is not. Um, I've got my got my Jane Austen collection right here, which isn't all of them, but 
are working on it. And yeah, that is it for the fiction bookshelf. That's it. That is the entire bookshelf or my library tour, at least for now, with all the books that I have here. Now I want to talk about the series that I alluded to earlier, and that series is going to be looking, taking all of the different categories that I have here on my bookshelf, are going to be given their own individual video. I will be talking about each of those books, whether I've read the book, all of that stuff. I'll even include my audiobooks and my DVDs. Those will be coming out sporadically. I don't really know where I'm going to start with them. I don't know how long those videos will be. I think they will range, obviously, depending on the number of books that I have. Also with this series, I will not be filming in just this location, so those videos will be me watching back and forth from locations, so be ready for that. Oh good, it stopped recording.